Ah, giving the gift of basketball here on this Christmas Eve. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. You take a look at the 76ers. In second now, but wanting to claim that top seed. And, of course, the Charlotte Hornets. Back two and a half games. I think for the Hornets, they've had some terrific moments this season. But where's the big leap upward that we've been waiting for? Yeah, and you know, we've seen them enough to know by now they're not going to make that switch from good to great at this point. Not this year, anyway. Before we get started, we've got just enough time to head over to the sideline. Allie? Well, you may have noticed that Joel Embiid hits the court a lot. He said, quote, I've learned it during my rehab for the foot injury. The specialist told me to limit the impact on my body. Every time I'm in a situation that'll put extreme stress on my leg, I've got to dive or just roll onto the floor. All right, Allie, thanks. And the new rookie class to watch here early in the season, Grant. How long should we wait to evaluate a rookie's play, you think? You know, B.A., every rookie is different in terms of their adapting to the NBA. There's a grace period that we apply to rookies. But usually after about 25 to 30 games, you can get an accurate sense and feel for what this rookie is. Are they ready to be a solid contributor and make an impact? Or do they need more time to develop and down the road be the player that you envision them to be? And now let's go. take a look at the starting lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. Washington is the four and Zeller at center. Ball is out there with Terry Rozier and it's Hayward in at the three. And for Philadelphia, Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Matisse Thibel out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Green in at the small forward position. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Harris. Six to shoot. On the wing, Green. Connects from downtown. Exactly what Green is known for, a terrific three-point shooter. Continues to do damage from out there. Zeller with the ball. Washington outside. Now here's Hayward. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. He's not there. Now here's Simmons. Ten points in his last outing. Embiid inside. Zeller's there. Here's Thibel. And out of bounds. The Hornets will take it. And it's the Hornets ball. Pass to Washington. Ball against Simmons. Outside for Rozier. Back to ball. Five to shoot. Shoots over Embiid. Ball no good. For Philadelphia, they've gone one of three from the floor. Here's Harris. Here's Thibault. Three-pointer, no good. First quarter, just about two minutes in. It's Hayward on the wing. Back to ball. Back to Hayward. Let's the three fly. Buries it from three. Hayward's got five. The deep shooting ability of Hayward is invaluable. A forward who stretches the deep. High expectations. Grant, a former top five pick. Cody Zeller has really become more of a valuable role player now. No, B.A. was fascinating. He said scouts saw him as a mobile big with a terrific jump shot. Now, he may have reached his ceiling on the earlier side of his career. But now, instead of being your first or second option on offense, he's a guy who prides himself on making all the hustle plays. That three's off the mark. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. On the wing, Green. Harris outside. Pass to Simmons. And here's Embiid. Defended by Zeller. Outside Donald. Oh, they need this! 
goes to the Hornets. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And they'll meet three times overall. A little bit of a tone setter here tonight. First time you face a team in the season, that's when you're looking to take that mental advantage. Demonstrate your best. And that could make it easier down the road. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Harris finds Simmons. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. From 11 feet away, and there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Simmons. Joel Embiid has a nice shooting touch and does not lack for confidence. And seems to be getting better in the mid-range area. Washington outside. Pass to Hayward. The teardrop. And he's knocked off course by the D. So the foul is called, and he'll shoot free throws. That's on Joel Embiid. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. Free throw misses. And he's good on the second. Here's Simmons. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Outside, Green. Embiid with it. Zeller's there. Fade away. Embiid can't hit. Good idea with the fade away, but the defense was just all over it. Pass to Zeller. Washington outside. And here's Ball. Screen by Zeller. Charlotte again missing. The Sixers trailing. Outside title. Pass to Embiid. Over Washington. Embiid inside. He's guarded by Washington. Embiid can't hit. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. And slammed up by Simmons. Hey, there's not a lot you can do to prevent Simmons from creating space. I mean, it's quite honestly what he does best in pick and roll situations. Now here's Ball. He played a great game against New Orleans. Pass to Embiid. Harris outside. With the fadeaway, he hits the back iron and sinks it. That's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Washington outside. Out to the right wing. Ball outside. To the paint. And he makes it on the layup. Hayward's got his third bucket of the night. He's really feeling it right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. Charlotte trailing. Washington outside. Hayward left side the wing right side Harris against ball driving to the basket and they pick up two well it wasn't a pretty start for him but now he's got a bucket to build on Philadelphia has gone one for five from deep in this first struggling from that area pass to Harris Bible with it there's the triple it's hauled in by Hayward so far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And the trend they love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. And it's Washington missing. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. 
Simmons, the pass to Embiid. Puts the move on. Uses the glass that time. It's good. Embiid's got six points. This is where Embiid burns you the most. I mean, mainly because of his size and such a soft touch. And the Hornets call time here. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Um, once that happens, then you're in trouble. about Graham's ability to hit the jump shots and well we should but he's also an excellent passer I mean this guy averaged over seven assists a game for the Hornets last year and he showed a total command of the offense very impressive you know Clark in college Graham played mostly off the ball until his senior season. But when he was moved to the point guard position, he didn't miss a beat. You know, I think this really is a testimony to the benefit, in some cases, of staying in college for four years. I mean, you come out much more mature physically and mentally, and I think you tend to not have an entitlement mentality, which is sometimes a hindrance to younger players when they come into the league. Graham really set himself up for success, and he's going to be a good player for a long time. The Hornets with the lead. Outside Grant. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Philadelphia has gone just one of six from the three-point line so far. Here's Curry. He takes it in. And the shot goes. When Seth Curry sees holes in the defense, he pounces on them. Monk. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's a look at some stats for the mellow ball. And unfortunately, his defense has not been as impactful lately as it was earlier in the season with his steal numbers on the decline over the past five games. Expect to see him redouble his efforts tonight and try to get back to picking pockets. Here's Maxi outside Milton. Pass to Embiid. Able to get that one. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Here's Monk. Right side Graham. Here's Martin. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Howard.
Shot from the inbound. Graham, that's good. Graham's got five points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Milton. Going inside. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Pass to Monk. And he comes up with a bucket. And the Hornets lead by two. Monk's got deceptive strength. You've got to respect that. I mean, the defense throwing themselves all over him and at him. But he's still concentrating and knocking down the shot. Here's Maxi, Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Clock at six. Here's Milton. And it's Graham with the rebound. The Hornets have gone 7 of 16 so far. 143 left to play in the first. No good from outside. Philadelphia has gone just 1 of 6 from the three-point line so far. Outside Curry. Here's Martin. Outside Graham. Beyond the arc. Sinks the tray. And it's a five-point Charlotte lead. Not a bunch of energy from the defense, which is why he was free to knock that down. Now Milton. Pass to Howard. Here's Embiid. He's guarded by Bridges. And the foul called on Bismack Biombo. That's his first foul. And the 76ers making a change here. Howard inside. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Outside Graham. To the inside. And here are the Hornets with another bucket. Boy, he's very dependable from that area. So Bridges, to me, should look to keep attacking when he gets the ball in this space. Here's Maxi. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Bridges. Count it. He's four for eight now. You know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. And here's Graham. Shoots over Maxi. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. Hornets out in front, up three. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Taking a look at the Hornets' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, what I love is the tremendous belief in their bench. They were looking for points and their reserves delivered. And you know, when the bench is playing such a big role early, that certainly allows the starters to stay fresh throughout the game. The Sixers trailing on the court for Charlotte. Graham is joined in the backcourt by Rozier. Washington is the four, and Zeller at center. And it's Ball in at the three, the small forward. Right wing, here's Rozier. Off target with the three. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Embiid. Over Zeller. No good off the glass. And for the Hornets, they're shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Out to the right wing. 
There's Ball with a three. Gets it to go. His second make in six tries. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Simmons, the pass to Green. Marked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Saturday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then on Sunday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Orlando, going up against the Magic. Rogier, the pass to Ball. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, the Hornets are going young. Coach James Grego said, quote, the way we're building this is key. It's important for our guys to understand that it starts on the defensive end for us. We are turning the corner. I think a lot of it has to do with the length and athleticism we have on the floor. Brian? Yeah, I'd agree with that. Thanks, Allie. First free throw is good. All right, Grant, how much did the elimination of hand and body checking in the early 2000s really change the game? Yeah, B.A., it had a huge impact on the game. If you recall in the 90s, a lot of the games were slugfests. The scores would be in the, in the low 80s at times because the hand checking and the physicality, uh, it, it really became a defensive game. But since they eliminated that, and allowed for freedom of movement in the game. It's really highlighted the excellence and great play of the offensive players in the NBA. And as a result, scoring's up. Uh, it's fun to watch. Fans are more engaged. And overall, a fun game to participate in and to watch. Now here's Embiid. Give him eight. Over Zeller. No good. Off the front rim. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on it. Zeller. Nice persistence to tip it back in. Zeller's got his first basket. With Zeller, you've got to get a body on him because if you don't, he's going to hurt you on the offensive glass. Pass to Embiid to stop the run. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to go on Cody Zeller. And the first one at the line is good. The big man is so skilled and has such an infectious personality. Joel Embiid is hard not to love. I mean, he just oozes that kind of attraction. I mean, his potential, unlimited. That's good as he hits both shots. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Ball outside. Takes it inside. And a two-handed jam! Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Now here's Embiid. He's got ten. Zeller with the rebound. Zeller's got five rebounds tonight. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Rozier can't get it to go. The 76ers have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Having played the first four years of his career in Boston, last year was a bit different for Rozier. I mean, it was a new environment. He got more minutes, obviously. And statistically, I thought he shined. Last season, Clark, Rogier looked much more comfortable in his role. Raised his shooting percentages across the board. Yeah, you know, B, I think he just had a tough time backing up Kyrie Irving in Boston. It didn't seem to bring out the best in Rogier. He had to look over Find his shoulder lane. every time Find he the lane. missed a shot. Go Maybe south. he didn't have to, but he felt like he did. And mistakes weren't given as much latitude. But in Charlotte, I think he has much more rope, much more freedom. And as a result, he's been more productive. 
Charlotte has gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. Hayward for three. Rebound by the 76ers. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Back to Simmons. Harris on the wing. Simmons with it. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. With Simmons, the closer, the better. He's confident from this area of the floor. Goes here, left side. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Rozier is known as an energy guy, but he's also a talented scorer who has a real hunger to continue to improve. And the 76ers making a change here. Dibbles checked in. And so he hits both. And Grant, no defender wants to be ISO'd against the Greek freak. But if you could pick one guy to try and check him, who would it be? That's a tough one, B.A. A lot of capable guys out there. I love Pascal Siakam. I also love P.J. Tucker with his size and his strength. But I have to go with Anthony Davis. Wow, his length, his defensive intelligence. He would be the one guy that I would have try to defend. As great as he is offensively, he might be even better defensively, A.B. Here's Zeller, following the score by Philadelphia. Pass to Graham. It's stolen! Bible with it, and it's Graham picking him up. Outside, Tybal. Inside. Here's Simmons. He's off on that one. So the Hornets will take it the other way. Pass to Zeller. Now here's Graham from deep three-point range. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Outside Simmons. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Now here's Hayward. Give him eight points now. Here's Grant. Down to five on the shot clock. There's Ball with a three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Left side, Simmons. Here's Harris. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arm. Now here's Simmons. Embiid inside. Guarded by Hayward. Hayward with the block. Pass the ball. Back to Graham. Now Rozier. Shots with the cold streak. Good. And Graham with the setup. Rozier's got five. 
and we've begun to see their three-point shooting slip a little this quarter. For better or worse, I and mean, it looks like the latter. I mean, those threes not really falling yet. Now here's Embiid, and the jumper is good at the free throw line. You know, we've gotten used to seeing this from Joel Embiid, a lethal offensive player who can get hot fast. Out left to the wing. Here's Rozier. And Embiid with the block. This one for three. Milton, no good. The Hornets with the lead. Ball left side. Back to Hayward. Rozier outside. Pass to Hayward. And that one good. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Sixers have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Now here's Curry. Not a lot of room. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, Grant, I'm more of a paint-by-numbers guy, but among your interest is real art. What sparked your interest in that area? <laughs> B.A., my, my parents were collectors. Uh, obviously, I started to collect in college, and then when my budget changed when I became an NBA ball player, I was able to enhance my collection. But it's been great. And one of the sort of outside the box hobbies that I've enjoyed. And when you look at the NBA now, there's plenty of athletes doing things that are sort of outside the box. Uh, so it's so gratifying to watch these young men continue to pursue interests outside of the game of basketball. The Grant Gallery coming soon to you. Ah, I like that. I like that. Second free throw is good. And you know, for Curry, getting into the league has been a battle for Seth. I mean, he's more established and playing with more confidence now. Pass to Martin. Hayward for three. Eibel with the board. The Sixers trailing. Here's Harris. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on Miles Bridges. You know, looking to score often from there, Harris is excellent at drawing the defense's attention and fouls. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. Boy, I tell you what, guys, Tobias Harris is a great scorer, and he's had multiple NBA stops, and I think you just have to simply say this guy has always been wanted.
good on the second one. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Pass to Biombo. Hayward with it. And he can't get that one. Good D by Harris. The 76ers have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Now Howard. And here's Harris. And it's Martin with the rebound. Well, the Hornets shooting only 31% in the second quarter of this one. And he drives in. Pass to Biombo. Shot clock at six. And it's Monk missing. The 76ers shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. And here's Harris. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contribution. Drives to the hoop. Get that weak stuff out of here around Howard. Return to center. What he stamped that one. Down low. Reverses. And a nice layup by Curry. Curry's got his second bucket on the night. Dwight Howard with some slick passing on that one. Here's Monk. 14 points for him. Last game against New Orleans. Pass to Bridges. in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Joel, you got out to an early lead. A lot to like in your performance thus far. What have you liked about it? 
Oh, I thought we played great. Defensively, I know that I had someone behind me. If I made a mistake that was going to protect the win, I thought we did great. Thanks, Duel. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Fantastic interview. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. It was Joel Embiid who got hot in the first. He ended up with 17 points, 12 rebounds, and one assist. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, it's pretty clear that they want the offense to run through the paint. And it's been a good game plan. When they've got the ball in tight, the points have been coming, and they've been coming frequently. And until the D proves that they can stop it, I'd say keep working in the paint. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Charlotte. They kind of get more aggressive on the glass. Over the first half, we saw them being schooled down low. You know what I'm going to say, Ernie. Barbecue chicken. If I was coach in the locker room right now, they'd be Extra rebound. Everyone will pay off in other ways. The energy is really where it starts. Something like that, Ernie. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel, and it's Green in at the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Simmons, and the layup is good off the glass. Simmons has got his third basket on the night right there. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Washington outside. Hayward outside on the take. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. It's stolen by Washington. Pass the ball. Now here's Rozier. Just five to shoot. And it's blocked by Embiid. That long reach of Embiid is a real asset on defense. Covers a lot of territory and knows how to snuff out the shoot. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Counted. And now it's a 7-point 76ers lead. Hey, there is no denying, B.A., that Joel Embiid is the embodiment of the 76ers. As a matter of fact, the man's name is the process. <laughs> He's all in on this team, man. The city is all in with him. They love his personality, and his talent is unquestioned. Ball, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Joel Embiid. Man, the, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Shooting two. The first one falls. Well, Clark, it's a bit of a love-hate relationship now with Embiid in Philadelphia. Well, I love the young man's skill set and his personality. He's real and he's a tad raw at times, but hey, in Philly, he said he could be the hero or villain last year. And I think he just loves getting into it, engaging with folks. He can give it and receive it. Um, but deep down, I think there's tremendous respect between Embiid and the city of brotherly love. Now here's Embiid. He's got 17. 
inside Tyler. Embiid inside. Zeller's there. Embiid misses. Charlotte trailing. Pass to Zeller. Over to the left wing. Back to ball. Now Washington. Here's Hayward. They get it again. Here's Rozier. He buries it from three. Rozier's got eight points. Hey, when Terry Rozier is hitting these jump shots, it really widens the driving range. Pass to Embiid. Three for three. The Hornets pull it in. Ball outside. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Embiid inside. He's guarded by Washington. Embiid misses. Hayward outside. Pass to Washington. Now ball for the lead. Rebounded by Green. The 76ers have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Rams checked in for Charlotte. His even keel demeanor, guys. You look at Ben Simmons, never too high or too low. He's got a quiet confidence about him that bodes well for his future. Timeout call, the Hornets. Boy, you look at Joel and B. He's playing really well right now. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. the dunk contest all of them true dunk artists who can do some spectacular things in the air and i can't wait to see what these guys have dreamed up this year the level of athleticism and creativity that goes into this contest is what makes it so incredible to watch and you look at simmons and i can see him moving even higher up in the ranks he's certainly a talented guy up in the air he is for sure but this list is just packed with real aerial artists this dunk contest is really going to be something special. And as All-Star Weekend gets closer, we'll of course update you on how things are looking. But this year already promises plenty of standout performances. Yeah, this is going to be a dunk contest you don't want to miss. Here's Zeller. Rozier outside. Zeller high post. Him beats there. Back to ball. Over to the wing. Six to shoot. Here's Rozier. Got it. Rozier's got 10 points. You know, inside, Rozier certainly doesn't have the height advantage, but he's quick and crafty and can 
find ways to the basket. Now here's Simmons. He's got nine. Here's Embiid. The kick out to Simmons. Outside Milton. Simmons against Graham. Nice shot by Simmons. Simmons has got seven now in this quarter. I'll tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feet, let him eat. To the left side wing. Here's Washington. Good. And Graham with the setup. Graham's got his fourth assist in this one. Proving he can capitalize from this area to Washington. Being assertive and looking to score. I like it. The 17 footer. And that one's long. The Hornets have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Ball outside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. First one. He's perfect from the line this time. Now Simmons. He's got 11. And he lobs it up top. Well, Simmons has what I call see ahead vision. I mean, he sees a play ahead, and he's a great passer. Charlotte's gone just one of three from deep since the break. Ball right side. Over Milton. Here's Zeller. And a nice finish on the layup. Zeller's got his second bucket of the night. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, and you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. Here's Milton. Pass to Embiid. Over Zeller. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. So I just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Ball outside. Here's Graham. And finished off by Graham. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money worth. Now here's Simmons. Outside Milton. Pass to Embiid. Over Zeller. Embiid, good. Embiid's got 21. That's three buckets in a row off assist. And the Hornets call time here. Boy, you look at Joel and B. He's playing really well right now. Boy, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in.
Washington. Bridges outside. Pass to Monk. The shot no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. Simmons with it. 11 points in the game. Howard, the pass to Curry from deep. Zeller with the rebound. Zeller's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Graham with it. He's covered by Curry. Outside Graham. Here's Washington. And Embiid with the block. Outside Simmons. Pass to Howard. Tipped. Zeller with the rebound. Zeller's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's Monk. Zeller with the ball. Tries the nine-footer. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Howard's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Simmons. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to help any kind of change. Here's Washington. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Seth Curry. A savvy play that time on the part of Washington. Got his man in an awkward position and then drew the foul. some good work at the line this half. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. The Hornets making a switch here. Biombo's checked in. So, one for two that time at the stripe. Well, you know, I think Washington's ability to play inside and outside is going to keep them around the league for a long time. I think he's actually got to start him in his future. Now here's Simmons. 13 points in the game. And a steal like that with the conversion can really start moving things in your direction. The 76ers have gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. You know, Malik Monk was drafted a few picks ahead of notable talents like Donovan Mitchell and Bam out of Bayern. But Malik's journey has been a little different, as is the case with every young player coming into the league. You know, he didn't burst onto the scene, as many scouts have predicted, but I like the fact that this young man has showed continual improvement. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but don't like to see it when the game is this close. Here's Maxi. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Howard. Here's Embiid. The Sixers with another miss. You know, Clark, last year, getting more minutes after the Kimball Walker trade, Monk was much more efficient at the offensive end. Could not agree with you more, B.A. He shot fewer threes. That always helps efficiency. And then used his athleticism to do more work closer to the basket. He hit over 40% from the field and for the first time in his career now. So good progress for him. And he also made more of an impact on the glass. Here's Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Shot clock at five. And out of bounds. The Hornets will take it. Harris has checked in for the Sixers. Charlotte's gone just one of three from deep since the break. Outside Grant. Pass to Monk. 
The Umbo high post. He's against Howard. Clock at six. Here's Martin. Simmons defending. Here's Biombo. Uses the glass on the layup. Biombo's got his first two points of the night. Yeah, tough to box out Biombo on the glass. I mean, this guy does a nice job anticipating where the misses are going. Harris outside. Off the mark, and the drop continues. The Hornets with the lead. Pass to Biombo. Outside Grant. Deflected. Pass break Philadelphia. And here's Simmons. Throws it up high. And I love how Simmons sets the floor up. So good at spotting his teammates for high quality shots. 54 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Martin. Now Bridges, pounded by Harris. Now here's Bridges, tightly guarded. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Outside Simmons. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Simmons has got 11 points here in the second half. Outstanding focus that time by Simmons. Nothing really rattles this guy. He's unflappable, even when he's getting bodied by the defense like that. Now here's Grant to the middle. Now here's Bridges. Good D by Harris. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. And now it's a 5-point 76ers lead. Yeah, that pull-up jumper by Harris shows his ability to create offense for himself, and that's what all great scorers can do. And we've reached the end of the third. The Sixers on top. They're up by five. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays, night in and night out. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. On the court for Charlotte, Washington is the four and Zeller at center. Terry Rozier is out there with Ball, and it's Hayward in at the three spot. Now here's Ball. Screen by Zeller. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Outside Simmons, pass to Harris. Embiid with it. Zeller's there. Here's Harris. Zeller with the rebound. Charlotte trailing. Back to ball. It's Hayward on the wing. Ball outside. Washington a screen. Ball into the lane. And a foul called on the way up. He'll take two from the free throw line. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw.
sinks the second. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Ball against Simmons. He can't get that one to fall. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. The three is up. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris has got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Embiid. Outside, Green. Back to Embiid. Five on the clock. Over Washington. The Sixers again can't hit. He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. Now Zeller. Over Simmons. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. I'll tell you what, that is a missed opportunity from mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Harris outside. Over Washington. And another miss by Philadelphia. The Hornets have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Oh, got a piece of it. Simmons against Ball. Here's Green. Yes. And that's Simmons with the assist. Simmons has got assist number five here tonight. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Now here's Zeller. Out to Hayward. Pass the ball. He's got a clear path. Here's Simmons. Oh, power is he? can't let Simmons get going off of these dunks. I mean, his confidence just rises when he slams it down like that. Charlotte calls timeout. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell him simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Green. 
And the 76ers get it back. Embiid's shot is good. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now here's Washington. The shot off that time. Good D by Harris. And here's Simmons. Pass to Harris. And here's Embiid. Defended by Zeller. The jump hook. Again, the Sixers score. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Washington. The putback. It's good on the putback. A good sign for them is the work they've done on the offensive glass this half. For Philadelphia, they've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Simmons with it. Green for three. Gets rebounded by Charlotte. Zeller's got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Rozier. Pass to Zeller. Pass break, Philadelphia. Green with the ball. Zeller covering. Here's Simmons. Oh! moves of Simmons. I mean, it's just so much fun to watch when he's got the ball in his hand. And the 76ers making a change here. Thibel's checked in. Seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Out to the right wing. Back to ball. Pass to Zeller. Six on the shot clock. Knocks it loose. Shot from the top of the key. No good. The 76ers go the other way with it. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough. But that's how you win games. Just continuing to pile it on, refusing to let up. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. they got to tighten it up. Now here's Rozier. side. Oh, stolen by Harris. Simmons finds Green. Embiid with it. Zeller's there. Green for three. Zeller with the rebound. Zeller's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Now here's Simmons. Outside, Green. Pass to Embiid. Fades. That went off the back iron and out. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. To the inside. Oh, a flawless finish on the lob. About as easy an assist as you could have that time for Rozier. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 15-6 run. Simmons, the pass to Green. And another miss by Philadelphia. He continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. It's Hayward on the wing. Now ball. to Hayward. Let's go with a three. Yes, sir. And it's ball with the assist that time. 
Ball's got three assists in the game. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> Good luck. He's going to drill that every time. Now here's Thibault. Here's Embiid. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Embiid is unstoppable, just too strong for the defense, no matter what they throw at him. The Hornets making a switch here. Graham's checked in. Four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Hayward. Here's Rozier. To the left wing. And stolen by Simmons. Now Tybal. And here's Simmons. Embiid a screen on Graham. And Simmons, here we go. Three-pointer Embiid. Knocks down the long K. Embiid's got 31. Hey, this big fella, Joel Embiid, you've got to guard him out at the three-point line. This guy has a nice stroke. You cannot sleep on him out there. Now here's Graham. Here he goes. Washington. And Washington powers it through. He almost brought the basket down on top of himself. Oh, there's hang time, and then there's a time to hang. Oh, you got to make that move. Oh, oh, oh my! Throw it down! Right now, Simmons is a question with no answer. A tenacious score. He finishes with muscle through contact. Strong at the line since the break. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. For Charlotte, they've gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. To the wing on the left. Back to Washington. Hayward outside. Here's Rozier. And it's off from three-point range. One side has dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Now here's Embiid. He's guarded by Washington. Shot clock at five. And it's Thibel missing. And for the Hornets, they're shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Stepped back and fires. Second chance effort. And that one's good. Zeller. You know, Zeller is no stranger to contact. As a matter of fact, I like the combination he has of both finesse and power to go through that kind of defense. It's Simmons with a drive. Cranked it in off the glass. Simmons has got 27. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Outside Simmons. Grant, when you were playing, the game was a lot more physical. Do you miss those days? Maybe not as a player, but do you miss watching that brand of basketball? You know, I, I do miss a little bit of that time. It, it, there was a physicality that required a mental toughness to endure that. You played against some of these teams, like the first team that comes to mind, the New York Knicks with Charles Oakley and Patrick Ewing. You were going to feel it at the end of that game. Uh, but there was just a, a fun time for me as a young player in this league. Anything I could do to be back out on the court playing, even in the physicality of the 1990s. I'd be happy to stick an elbow in your back. <laughs> okay, uh, Brian Oakley. I like that. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. Outside Dybul. the 
76ers winning this one easily. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joel, congratulations. A quality win tonight. What enabled you to secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. The toughness showed and paid off. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.